This video is designed to discuss how the characteristics of rivers change as we move downstream from source to mouth. If we come across to look at this simple diagram, we can see that the source of the river is here and the end of the river is here, or the mouth, where the river flows into this blue area which represents the sea. Therefore, this blue line represents our river flowing from source to mouth. Any river is divided into three clear sections, like so. This section number one is called the upper course. Section number two is called the middle course. And section number three is called the lower course. Sorry, the, the lower course. Um, if we come across to this table, you can see that uh, the words, or sorry, the letters UC represent upper course and the letters LC represent lower course. So if I come back across to this diagram, uh, UC stands for upper course and LC stands for lower course. And we're essentially looking at these two sections because they're the two extremes in terms of characteristics. The upper course, the middle course and the lower course all have uh, very certain characteristics. The upper course of all rivers have similar characteristics, the middle course of all rivers have similar characteristics and the lower course of all rivers have certain characteristics. Some of the characteristics we are going to look at uh, occur down the left hand side of the table. W stands for width, DE stands for depth, DI stands for discharge and LO stands for load. We see two new definitions. First one, discharge is the amount of water passing any given point in a river and load is any material transported by a river, really the rocks and stones and pebbles that we're, we're concerned with. If we come back to the table then, uh, with regards to width, in the upper course the width of the river is narrow in the lower course, the width of the river is wide. In terms of depth, the upper course is shallow and in the lower course, the depth is deep. Both of these are represented in this simple diagram. This represents the upper course and this diagram represents the lower course. The reason for the changes between the upper course and the lower course it's basically concerned with erosion, and we'll discuss this later on in another video. Discharge is low at the upper course and is high at the lower course. So discharge is the amount of water or the volume of water. So the figure for the upper course would be low, basically because the river is so narrow and shallow. And the figure for discharge would be high for the lower course because the river is so much wider and deeper and can therefore hold so much more water. In terms of load, at the source or in the upper course the load is large and angular and at the lower course the load is small and rounded. If we come up to the diagram and we try to represent this, in the upper course we have large boulders which are quite angular. Basically they've been not, not been subject to much erosion. And when we come down to the lower course, we've got small, smooth, rounded pebbles, like so. The difference between these two, again, is due to erosion. These large, angular boulders will be moved. They will be collided with other large boulders and the riverbeds and banks and chip away and break them down into smaller, more smooth and rounded pebbles that we see in the lower course of the river. So therefore, in conclusion, the characteristics of the river change in terms of width, depth, discharge and load from the upper course to the lower course.